This game will bring out the competitive side of your group while simultaneously making everyone's brain hurt. To start, split your group into two even teams where you can easily distinguish who's on which team. You can split them up boys versus girls, shoes versus socks, long hair versus short hair, whatever works. Have the players sit in a circle of chairs, alternating teams. Designate four of the chairs to be the couch. It's even better if you can use a real couch. The couch should seat four people and the game starts with one empty spot on the left side of the couch. Have everyone write their name on a scrap of paper and place all of the names into a bowl. Then randomly distribute these names back to the players. Tell them it's alright if they get their own name and that they need to keep their new name secret. The goal of this game is to fill all four seats of the couch with members of your team. Whoever has the empty seat on their left will call out the name of somebody in the circle. The person that drew that name will then get up and then move to the empty seat. Play continues by once again having the person with the empty seat on their left call out a name. Before it was this person, but now it's this one. Now the tricky part of this game is that the names that the players drew in the beginning have become their new names for the duration of this game. So when you call Sarah, actual Sarah is likely not the person who is coming to sit next to you. In the beginning, you really have no way of knowing who you're asking to move, but as the game goes on, you can start to piece it together. So as you learn everyone's new names, your goal will be to try to pull people from the other team off of the couch, put people from your own team onto the couch, while trying to keep all of the jumbled names together in your head. Once a name has been called, you have to wait until at least three other names have been called before you can use that person's name again. So to recap, whoever has the empty seat on their left calls out a name, and the person who drew that name moves to the empty seat. A new person will now have the empty seat on their left, and they call out the next name, provided it hasn't been called within the last three turns. By remembering everyone's new game names, strategically call members of the opposite team off of the couch while placing members from your own team on the couch. And when the whole couch is filled with members of your team, you win. If you want more stuff like this, check out the description for everything you need. Thank you so much for watching.